Guys, last week was one for the history books in crypto. Amidst all the doubt and uncertainty, we witnessed a once in a lifetime event where Ethereum was rewarded a spot ETF inside the United States. This is a watershed moment for the entire crypto industry, and it's insanely bullish for Ethereum, the asset itself, because this can have a massive impact on the price of Ether, sending it to new all-time highs and beyond. Not to mention countless other trickle-down effects to the entire crypto space. And in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this critical event as a blockchain developer myself who works with this technology on a daily basis. I'm going to talk about exactly what happened, why this is such a big deal for all of crypto, and what could happen to the price of Ether. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's a ton of opportunity to make some great investment gains during the crypto bull market, the absolute best way to make it long term in this space is to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step start to finish over at dapversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this historic event, which is Ethereum getting a spot ETF inside the United States. So obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not trying to convince you to buy or sell a cryptocurrency based on this information. But if you follow me for any length of time, you should be celebrating this because of how long I've been talking about the potential of this technology and its legitimacy in this space. And I've even made multiple videos in this channel talking about the ETF, including this one that I made over six months ago, talking about how this could be approved and why it'd be such a big deal. So we got that one right. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to see more videos about this stuff before it actually happens. All right. So in order to understand what this is and why it's such a big deal, you have to understand the fundamentals of what an ETF even is in the first place. This just stands for Exchange Traded Fund. So what does that mean? It's a financial derivative product, which means that you can purchase shares in something without actually owning the underlying asset itself. So for example, like if you wanted to buy gold, you could buy a gold ETF, which would give you exposure to the gold price without actually having to own any gold yourself. So crypto ETFs are basically the same. You can purchase shares in a fund that represents the underlying crypto without actually having to own the crypto itself. People have been talking about crypto ETFs ever since I got into the space and why they could be such a big deal. And we saw the first ever crypto spot ETF inside the United States with Bitcoin earlier this year, back in January. And a lot of that had to do with BlackRock getting in the space, filing for an ETF for Bitcoin because they have a nearly 100% success rate of getting their ETFs approved. And that domino has fallen now to where Ether has also had its spot ETF approved, to where people can now own shares in an Ethereum-based ETF without actually having to own any Ether cryptocurrency by itself. So why are ETFs even important in the first place? Because you might think like, hey, pretty much anybody can just go register on a centralized exchange and buy some crypto and hold it there. It's not that hard. Well, there's several reasons, but the two biggest ones that I can think of are number one, the data proves that a lot of the inflows that we've seen in the Bitcoin ETFs has come from retail investors. So a lot of people who have been buying the Bitcoin ETFs have been people just like you or me. So that might beg the question to why is that the case? Why wouldn't they just go buy it on an exchange? Well, there's lots of reasons. A few of them could be like you can get it through tax advantage accounts. But another big one that I think a lot of people are overlooking is the fact that a lot of people got burned with FTX back in 2022 and lots of other crypto products that have completely evaporated where their money is just gone. And being able to get crypto through an ETF adds an element of trust into the equation that I think a lot of people who are already plugged into crypto just don't realize. And then big reason number two why ETFs are important is because institutions can get exposure to this asset class in size in a way that you or I can't. See, lots of institutions might want to put billions of dollars into crypto, and they're not going to just go sign up for a crypto website to do that. They're probably going to prefer a vehicle like an ETF to do this. Now, that's why ETFs are important for crypto. But what about the Ethereum ETF? Why was this event last week such a big deal? Well, it's a big deal in the long term, but in the short term, it caught a lot of people off guard. Because you can see right before the ETF was approved, yeah, you know, the betting markets were saying that it had roughly a 10% chance of actually happening, okay? And then basically overnight, those odds flipped to two thirds. And then we found out that it got approved in a matter of a day from these odds flipping. Well, why is that? Well, there's a lot of speculation about what's been happening behind the scenes that this could be a very political thing. Okay. So love him, hate him somewhere in between. We can't deny the fact that over the last week or so, Donald Trump has made some positive comments about the cryptocurrency space, wanting to work to further it in the United States. And there's a lot of thought behind the scenes that, you know, his presidential opponent, Joe Biden, can't sit on the sidelines and do nothing when it comes to crypto. And there's some thought that there could be some political pressure behind the scenes to actually get this thing approved. 
to not make him look bad. Now, whether that's completely true or not, it's really hard to say, but I think it sounds somewhat plausible. So anyways, I don't make this political video. I'm not going to go totally into the politics in this video. I'm going to actually make a separate one about that. So make sure you subscribe because it's really interesting. And so regardless of exactly how it happened behind the scenes, the odds flipped quickly and the Ethereum ETF was approved, catching a lot of people off guard. And that caused the price of Ether to see the largest daily increase it's ever had. It increased by $70 billion in a day, which is almost as much as Solana's entire market cap. So if that gives you any indication to what could happen with the price in the future. Hint, hint, it could be incredibly bullish, but more on that in a second. All right, so that's an overview of what the Ether ETF is, how it got approved, and why it's such a big deal. So what are the actual implications for this? Well, there's several coming from the broad implications to the entire crypto space, all the way down to Ether, the price itself. So I'll start off with crypto as a whole. Number one, I think it goes without saying that this is incredibly bullish for the entire crypto market. I think it's highly likely that this can be a catalyst for the crypto bull market to continue. There's a lot of people have been sitting around saying, hey, is the top in? Are we going to continue more into this year, perhaps in the next year? And I think the odds just flipped in favor of the bull market continuing and seeing new all-time highs on many cryptocurrencies after something like this. So number two is this has a bright outlook for all of crypto, not just the prices, but the actual technology and where it stands specifically in the United States. A couple of those implications are that number one, now that the ETF has been approved for non-staked Ether, it basically says that Ether is now deemed a commodity and not a security because there's been a lot of ambiguity for that a long time. I've been saying on this channel for years now that I don't think Ether is a security, but this pretty much puts that debate to rest. Another thing that we've seen is that crypto is now an increasingly political issue, you know, for better or for worse. And I think that we're going to see lots of messaging around that in the 2024 presidential campaign coming up, most likely from both sides. Wouldn't be surprised if we hear questions about it at a debate. But most importantly, I think this has been been a complete 180 on how the crypto is viewed inside the United States. And I think the biggest implication for that is reduced headwinds for adoption of this technology and these assets to become an integral part of our financial system here in the States and also worldwide. And so lastly, it goes out saying, I think this has major implications for Ether, the asset itself and its price. Okay. So again, not financial advice. Nobody's got a crystal ball to know exactly what happens, but I think we have good fundamental reasons to think what I'm about to share with you. So in the short term, I, I just think this is bullish. A few reasons for that is I don't think that the e ETF approval is priced in. Like I was saying before, I think this caught a lot of people off guard when we saw the betting odds flip dramatically and we saw the Ethereum price rise, you know, its highest level in a single day whenever those odds flip. So I think a lot of people are caught off guard by this and I think we'll see continued allocation to Ether before the ETF goes live because that's something you have to understand. This has been approved, but it's not actually trading yet. So that's the short term, but what about the midterm? Well, that brings me to what happens after the ETFs actually get approved. So basically you can look to see what happened to the Bitcoin price pre ETF approval and then post ETF trading. And when the Bitcoin ETF was actually trading, we saw the price continue to increase after that. So why is that? Well, because we actually saw significant inflows come into the ETFs. It wasn't like we just opened the doors and nobody bought. A lot of people bought a lot of Bitcoin through the ETFs whenever they went live. And I think a similar thing is going to happen for Ether. And so what could that do to the price? Well, basically you saw that, you know, Bitcoin uh, rose about 50% or more from its pre-approval price to its post-launch to its post-launch after the ETS were actually trading. And so what could that do to the price of Ether? Well, what you have to understand is that Ether has a smaller market cap, all right? It's also a deflationary asset. So it doesn't have any new Ether net hitting the blockchain over a long period of time, okay? So basically, you can see that Bitcoin and Ether roughly have the same trading volume over the last 24 hours. That's not always the case, but it is right now because of what's happening with the Ether ETFs. So if you extrapolated a very similar inflows from the Bitcoin ETFs into the Ether ETFs with a you know cryptocurrency that has a much smaller market cap, then where Bitcoin had a 50% increase, I think it's pretty conservative to say that Ether could have a 50% increase. It could ultimately lead to a 3x increase or even higher. And I mean, nobody has a crystal ball to actually know this. But my bet is over a medium to long term, it's going to have a significant positive impact on the price of Ether. But then over the actual long term, I think that Ether is going to be viewed more as a technology bet than Bitcoin as a store of value, okay? And you see what the valuations of, you know, some of these large tech companies are like Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, which are in the multiple trillions of dollars, okay? And 
there's nothing to say that Ether can't be worth that much if it's viewed as a major technology platform. And that were the case, it could put Ether up to twenty, thirty thousand dollars per coin. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen right now, maybe not even in this bull market, but that's where this could happen over time. And the other thing you have to understand is, you know, while Ether got an ETF approval, everybody's saying like, hey, what about Solano? What about these other coins? You know, why can't we just go ahead and shove approvals, you know, in for those? Well, I think we'll probably start seeing applications for those things start to ramp up, but I don't think they're going to get approved as quickly as the Ethereum ETF did relative to the Bitcoin ETF for lots of reasons. Ethereum has been out for a very long time. We're starting to see clear rules about what qualifies for decentralized assets and what doesn't. We've had, you know, futures ETFs for Ethereum for a very long time. I think there's a much bigger gap for these other cryptocurrencies to cross before they actually see these ETFs go live for those. And so what that's going to do is going to position Bitcoin and Ethereum as these two major cryptocurrencies that have ETFs. And it's going to take a long time for these other ones to catch up to come alongside those. And so, you know, those two cryptocurrencies can be the main beneficiaries from ETF, you know, inflows for the foreseeable future, in my view, which is going to set them apart from the other cryptocurrencies for quite some time. All right. So that's an overview of the Ether ETFs. What just happened and why they're such a big deal? So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. How high is the price of Ether going to go once these ETFs go live? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And while there's always a ton of opportunity to make some good money in the crypto markets during these bull phases, you know, the absolute best way to make it long term in this space is to become a blockchain developer and increase your income. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at adaptdiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.